Hello. Today, this, it's my 4S battery, uh, 4S 2P lithium iron phosphate battery. And it's been mounted to this uh, wooden contraption. And it now has four of these little LCD voltmeters permanently attached so that I can see the voltage of each cell at all times. What I want to do today is charge this battery and I'm going to use my little desktop benchtop power supply. I need a couple of wires to go into the battery. So uh, is this going to spark? It's going to back feed uh, this battery into the output capacitor. So it shouldn't be too bad. No, not too bad. Okay, that's my power supply connected to the battery. Now I think what I'm going to do is charge these cells to three and a half volts each. So what I want on here is 14 volts because that will mean uh, half of 14 is seven, half of seven is three and a half. So three and a half volts per cell. And then we can watch how the cell voltages increase once I switch on the power supply. 14 volts, one amp, that'll do. Let's switch on. So it's currently at 13.3 volts. It's going up one amp. Let's take a look at the voltage meters. Are they going up? Yes, I think so. 335, 336, 336, 336. I'll come back in a minute. Now up to 13 and a half volts. And we have 339, 339, 338 and 3.40 volts now i've got no bms on here yet no balancing no anything really just the voltmeters so i am going to have to keep an eye on this but even if the cells are out of balance by going to 14 volts on my power supply then even if one of the cells is a bit higher looks like that last one is uh, I shouldn't hopefully get beyond 3.65, which is really the maximum you should take lithium ion phosphate um, on any one of the cells. So let's wait till the power supply gets up to uh, 14 volts, goes into voltage limiting. You can see it's constant current at the moment, which is the yellow LED. The constant voltage LED is the top one. That's a green LED. When that's on, we'll be at 14 volts and we can see what the cell voltages are. Now up to 13.75 volts on the power supply, and there's been a bit of a switcheroo on the uh, voltmeters. It looks like cell two is now in the lead. They do dart about. Uh, batteries are strange things. Just got to the point where the power supply has switched from constant current to constant voltage at 14 volts 13.97 and the cells are a little bit out of balance yeah we've got 3.55 on cell 2 and 3.46 on cell 3 so i think we need to balance them so here's a four cell active capacitor balancer which i got uh, i showed in a recent uh, post bag video I've put banana plugs onto the five leads, so let's plug them in. Incidentally, now that the uh, battery as a whole has reached uh, 14 volts, the current required to keep it at that voltage just falls continuously. And I'm not sure what that will eventually fall to, but presumably almost nothing to keep this battery at 14 volts okay attaching balancer so i'll start with most negative which is black that can go into the most negative on my battery next is white so that will go to the next most positive point on the battery um the little green light comes on but it's very dim so i don't think it's doing much on the balancer next is yellow that goes into that point I don't think the light's got any brighter there, has it? Oops, that was erroneous. It's not yellow next. It's actually green. <laughs> so let's put green in the next most positive. Hope I haven't blown up the balancer. 
then it's yellow i've only got one hand here so it's a bit tricky so yellow goes into next most positive and then red is the most positive of the balancer and that goes into the most positive point on the battery what's happening to the cells well probably not much at the moment but let's give it a bit of time and they should balance up well there's not much to see here what would be nice to know is what are the currents going through all of these wires on the balancer in other words is it actually shoveling current between cells and will this actually end up being balanced i think i'm going to get all my dmms i've got three dmms so i'll put them in circuit with say let's say the three middle connectors there the three yellow ones and we'll look at the currents here are the three dmms all set to current so let's start by looking at the current say in this middle balance lead i hope the balancer doesn't mind having random plugs being removed uh, i think i want that in common and then i will put no i want the balancer if it's forcing current i think i want it in the 10 amps and then the common can go up to the battery point there let's do that and that shows me that it's shoveling a negative current of 111 milliamps um on the green wire which is the center point here now you can see that's on this board here so it's between cells two and three and cell two is higher than cell three so it should be shoveling current from cell two to cell three so let me think about what this means just for a minute yes yeah, so i think what this means is that um the balancer is pulling current because it, the current must be flowing from common to the 10 amp socket it's pulling current out of this node this point between cells two and three and if you pull current out from that node you're discharging cell two because you're pulling current out and you're charging cell three i think that's what it means all right let's have a look at another one we'll do the node between cells one and two now they're both at the same voltage so there shouldn't be any current there uh, so that's the white wire let's pull that out and put it into the 10 amp socket on the first meter i'll just get another banana lead and certainly that seems to be the case there's only 18 milliamps being transferred again it's negative so i think it's transferring from cell one to cell two now we can't see any voltage difference there um 90 milliamps being transferred i believe from cell two to cell three and let's see what's being transferred well now the, these ones it should be transferring from cell four back to cell three so according to this we should see a positive current on the third meter and yes that is indeed what we're seeing sorry it's not very easy to see but that's plus 75 milliamps and the second meter is minus 75 milliamps and if you look at cells two three and four we're shoveling current from cell two to cell three and also from cell four to cell three so certainly currents are there currents are flowing and i think you can see from these four meters that they are balancing out what's my power supply doing now uh, it's 14 volts but what about the current okay that's dropped down to 70 milliamps and i wonder if that's supporting the difference in these three currents it's very complicated so let's just have a think about this if you're forcing current into a node and it looks like the balancer which is dangling down there at the moment is forcing current uh, forwards into the node this one between cells uh, three and four that one is 
and so let, so we're forcing current into here now if you force current into there you force current into this cell so you're charging this cell and you force current forward through that cell and to my mind that's discharging that cell so yeah it's discharging cell four and charging cell three and that's a, that of course is what we want because cell four is at a higher voltage than cell three anyway multimeters don't lie um so not much current going between the first two cells not surprising they're at the same voltage 60 milliamps negative current between cells two and three so uh, that's transferring current from cell two to cell three and 60 milliamps of or 64 of positive current between cells three and four and so to my mind that's transferring current from cell four to cell three now of course the balancer is trying is transferring currents everywhere it's taking uh, current from all the cells and flattening all the voltages out so they're the same and then writing it back it's doing a kind of read and write writing it back to uh, the four cells such that uh, it, I mean it's unintelligent this thing is just a completely unintelligent capacitor switcher and it is just shoveling energy between the cells until there isn't any voltage difference between them so I'll leave this whole contraption here for a few more minutes and we'll see if the currents all reduce and the voltages on the four cells all equalize. Now down to uh, 30 milliamps on the third meter, 23 milliamps, 9 milliamps, uh, 352, 351, 351, 353. On the power supply, it's now only requiring 36 milliamps to hold this whole system in equilibrium. I'm just gonna cheat a bit here actually, uh, if I can do this with my only two hands. I just wanna bring that cell four down a bit and I've got this car headlamp bulb, which I'm just gonna put across cell four. Let's see if that, oh yes, that's pulled it down, hasn't it? We'll allow the balancer to push that back up now. And actually, you can see that having done that, it's immediately sent the third ammeter into a negative current, which I believe means that it's uh, sucking current out of this node, which I think means it's discharging cell three and charging cell four, which would be what would be required now that I've pulled the voltage of cell four down a bit. Anyway, that's fun with a 4S LifePo 4 battery and what you can do when you can see what's going on with 4 voltmeters and 3 ammeters and even knowing how much current's being put in by the power supply. Yeah, that's it for this video. Cheerio! It's been about half an hour now. I've been editing the video and now we're down to some quite small currents 20 milliamps on the power supply to maintain the battery at 14 volts the currents on the meters are now very low uh, 3 milliamps 1 milliamp and 4 milliamps and you can see that the four meters are all basically in alignment now remember when i tested those um battery testers they all read slightly different voltages so it's uh, quite possible. In fact, the currents tell the story, don't they? When these currents are all zero, then the battery voltages are all the same. So actually, those first two meters are reading slightly low. <laughs> Ironic that they're slightly mounted low on that piece of wood. That was absolutely pure coincidence. But there we are. All the cells are in balance. Cheerio again.